Are you guys ready for my unfiltered, unsponsored review of Fuller Theological Seminary's online courses? Hey, Bipsy Squad, welcome back to another episode of Biblically Serious, where we're all about understanding the Bible and owning our faith. Today, I am giving you another free resource from a renowned seminary. We're not completely out of the pandemic, but things are starting to open up again and feel like some sense of normalcy. Coming out of the pandemic, I was just kind of feeling like, you know, I need to get back to my new normal. And as I was thinking about how I'm going to now start interacting with more people, how I'm going to go out a little bit more, what kind of life do I want to build? What kind of new normal rhythms do I want to set up? And yeah, like what is my new normal? That is what I was trying to figure out just a few months ago. Then I was looking online trying to find some different courses to kind of help get me some guidance on this. Um, and I actually landed on Fuller Theological Seminary's Fuller Formation. So Fuller Theological Seminary is a multi-denominational evangelical graduate institute. They have some pretty, and they're based in California, they have some pretty notable alumni like Rob Bell, John Piper, Rick Warren, just to name a few. Fuller Theological Seminary created an online resource, pretty much just online courses called Fuller Formation. So Fuller Formation is a different website, a different login. Um, it's not 100% free, but you do get a free 30-day trial. So you can sign up and take a class or two and try to figure out if you want to keep with the program or if you want to buy courses ad hoc. Fuller Formation is an extension of Fuller Theological Seminary. It's not as formal as the degrees that they offer online, like an MDiv or a Master's. Um, instead, it's meant to help those that have busy lives, that need to learn at their own pace, that need access whenever their schedule fit, or for groups that need guided discussions and resources um, to help facilitate conversations and growth within a group. This is a separate experience from the seminary, but it does leverage a lot of the experts and professors and teachers at the seminary to create these um, guided learning content. All right, now that you know a little bit more about Fuller and Fuller Formation, let me get into my review. And just a little disclaimer, this is a review of my experience with one of their courses, and it is not a summary of the course, as I do not have any rights to repurpose any of the information. Earlier I said that I was looking for some guidance, some direction on what could a new normal be post-COVID, post-isolation, what is my new normal? So I was scrolling through Fuller Formation's full list of courses and I decided to go with developing godly rhythms of life. This stood out to me as like the most interesting to what I was going for. All right, so let's talk about the content of the course. This course is described as helping you kind of have less of a hurried life and slowing down to create rhythms to connect with God. It's actually based off of a philosophy or principle called the rule of life. So what is a rule of life? I have to read this because it's a little bit long. So a rule of life is a schedule and a set of practices that help us create space in our busy world for us to be with Jesus, become like Jesus, and do what he did. To live the, to the full in his kingdom and in alignment with our deepest passions and priorities. All right, so before you get hung up on the word rules and thinking, all right, we don't, we don't have a workspace religion. So this word rule is actually not in the, does not have the same significance of like, strict, legalistic, kind of binding, but instead this word um, is from a Latin word where you get the word trellis in a vineyard. And just like in a vineyard, you need a trellis to help, you need the structure of a trellis to help guide the vine where it needs to go. 
Um, similarly, um, with the principle of the rule of life, you need structure, you need rhythm in your life to help guide you where God wants you to be, where God's calling you to be. We need to be intentional. We need to set up structures so that we can be guided um, into the life that God wants us to be and really just abiding in him all the time. So I just took this one course and I really enjoyed it, but let me tell you the pros and cons so you can get a better picture of my experience. So I would say for pros, first of all, the user experience, the interface is so clean, it's so nice, it's seamless. Like I just wanted to keep clicking through all the different modules because I just wanted to be online just there. Um, I also thought it was a good mix of um, media and from different people. So you don't only just get like one professor or you don't just only read or you don't only just watch video. There's a mix of short videos, almost like instructional blog posts. There is like questionnaires, like reflection questions and also examples of these reflection questions, especially around like examples about how to structure your life and how people may be setting up their schedules and what rhythms they have set up so that you can get some ideas um, on what you can do. Another thing I loved about the course is the pacing. I felt like the content was laid out really well. Um, I think each lesson was short to the point, um, but it really leaned heavily on reflection, which makes sense because they wanted it to be very application based. Like, this is what we're teaching you about the rule. Like, think about how now you want to incorporate that into your life. So I love the application base and the focus on that. So now for my cons, honestly, just not even in this course, but my first impression when I was scrolling through the option of classes that were available, they felt all the titles, they really did feel like blog posts. They didn't feel like academic courses that you would like sign up for and take over like six weeks or two months or whatever it is. And it's not a horrible thing. I think it's just a con in the sense of like my expectation of, you know, what a seminary produces, um, I just imagine would be more on like more academic level. But I was pleasantly surprised with the experience I had. And obviously, like I said, I only took one class and that one class, it wasn't like very traditional like seminary class like it wasn't like old testament new testament like biblical languages i'm and they had other things that were like understanding the bible but i didn't see the rigor of learning the bible it was more current relevant topics which i guess is a pro but um i think also a con i don't know where to place it anyways my last con will be another one I just kind of don't know how to place. Fuller Formation is not 100% free. It's just a 30 day free trial. And after that you can, I believe do a subscription or they did give me the opportunity to just purchase the course individually. I think that for the topics that they had, and like I said, it kind of felt like they were blog post topics. I feel like you could Google some of these things and watch some YouTube videos for free and kind of get it. But, I did love the experience. I thought it was a great product. I thought they put up quality content that was curated. So in that sense, that is worth, you know, a few coin. So I think that I, that's why that one I'm like still on the fence. Is it pro or is it con? But just a disclaimer, it's not 100% free. Well, if you enjoyed this review of Fuller Theological's free um, online course, I would recommend that you watch my Dallas Theological Seminary's free and really free online course um, and I will have that linked here and if you've already seen that maybe check out my free Bible resources that I recommend just some more accessible tools to help you understand the Bible and grow in your faith all right if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you can't wait for the next video be sure to subscribe and I will see you then bye